a good guy. I want to make a difference. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to GTA 4 with Nico Balak. We're going to do a Francis McCree mission. The corrupt cop, brother of Becky McCree. Final interview. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Yeah, bitch, uh, come on, Jimmy, right. uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jimmy, sir. You're Six undercover. Oh, oh, hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, Oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen. Uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that uh. ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit, slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I... He's got it all wrong. He's got... But one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer. Big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, Some... enough! Enough. I'm sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. Gonna go to the DA with it, use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh... Get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man. Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. Get yourself a suit. What does he think I'm wearing? Pajamas? Good God. Francis. Internet Cafe. Where really do I need? Do I need? Yeah, I need to go all the way up there. Yeah, that's not gonna be in a let's play. See you there, guys. All right, we're back at uh, the Internet Cafe. Let's get to a computer, log on, check the email, whatever. Web, I guess. Need legal help, yes. Careers page. Submit resume. Scroll down, submit. Now what? Leaf. All right. How many units? Real talk, yeah. I guess we have to wait. All right. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. Okay, guess we have to wait. But 
but uh, yeah, I cut back when we have. Uh... Ooh, look at that! Do we have already automated reply? Our office are currently closed. Your query will receive our fullest attention at your last opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, we just have to wait and see. So see you when we can get the job done. Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Ligner and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business and get the files. Right, got a new suit. Why not? And uh, yeah, let's go to uh, the job interview with Shyster, Shyster, and Shyster. <laughs> let's do this. Final interview. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Oh, got one Scheister, right? <laughs> uh. Mr. Bellick, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellick has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Oh, exciting. Following a receptionist. Mr. Is such a saint. He well, thanks for the door. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. I always get nervous before interviews. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't fight. He doesn't. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. So, you're the sort of man who doesn't wait to get told what to do. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Sure. My problem is that people don't notice the decay in society. They leave the decay alone, and soon it's too late, so you have to pull the whole tooth. Yeah? I am the guy who goes around shaking people. For people, read society, read city hall. I shake them, and I say floss. Get rid of the rotting flesh stuck in your teeth. Prevent decay. Mouthwash, you hear me? There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You want to know why? Because the law is clear. I'm going to crush him into dust. No one is above my judgment. You understand me? Oh, you're standing. That's a power play. I like it. Here at GLNS, we're pushing things to the limit. We're on the front. A knife. You into camping or something? Did you order that? Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. Okay, get the files. Really? I'm not gonna fight you. Can I just do this with a knife? <laughs> Come on, Nikolai. Ah! He 
Is he dead? Just to make sure. All right. There we go. He very smooth. <laughs> no, I don't want a burger. I want my car. Should be here somewhere. Is my car gone? Guess it's gone. But we made a clean getaway. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. All right, let's find a car. Uh, let's steal a car. Go away, cops. Oh, that went nice. Because if you shoot the guy, yeah, everybody gets alarmed. And I thought, why shoot? When you have a knife. Quiet. Jumping out of the window. Wait, let me get that waypoint out of the way. It disturbs me. Nice. Okay. Let's wait till the alarm turns off. Alright, because it uh, attracts the cops if you drive with the alarm. So let's see what... Um, What happens when we deliver the files to uh, Francis McCreary? Oh man, this went smoother than I thought. I never realized you could uh, kill the guy with a knife and jump out of the window. Unseen by anybody. Very nice. I did not know that was possible. I'm a smooth bastard, am I? <laughs> yeah, I'm very pleased with myself. Let me. <laughs> of course, the driving skills remain the same. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, let's deliver the files to McCree. Careful now. Don't need the cops on our tail. There we are. Here are the files. Great! Peace at last! I feel cleansed! You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears! A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. A thousand bucks? Well, he's a cheap bastard, isn't he? Wow, that went excellent. That went brilliantly. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. It's, uh, yeah, went very smooth. No cops on my tail. Nobody found out I killed a lawyer. Shyster, shyster, shyster. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you for watching and dropping by. I see you in the next one. You all have a good one. Ladies, bye.